Dubai is a language of dress, but in a way that's speaking without words. It actually comes from the royal families of Indonesia, and that's why it looks so sophisticated and elegant and very much a part of their identity. My name is Nuri Auger. I'm a founder and then president of nonprofit organization Indonesian Tri Magnolias, and then also the Master Kabaya in the project with my apprentice, Stacy Stube. My name is Stacy Stube, and I am an Indonesian American fashion designer. I was born in Indonesia but grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. So we moved to Baltimore, Maryland when I was three years old and my grandfather was uh, working on a, actually social initiatives all over Indonesia, um, but also in the inner city of Baltimore where I grew up. My father was on the American side and, um, and my mother on the Indonesian side. And so when we moved to Baltimore, a lot of my cultural identity, which I didn't connect to at the time, I lost, um, mainly due to fit in, you know, as most immigrant families move to um, a foreign place, they want to make sure that they're accepted and that they can flourish in their new home. It wasn't until I went to fashion school in London that I began this discovery process of what it means to be Indonesian. Um, it just wasn't a part of our, our home culture. Um, and I, I'm, I'm, I didn't, I didn't realize the loss of cultural identity until about that time um, because, you know, I spoke the language, but very lightly with an accent. Um, but what connected me to Indonesia was through the textiles. It was in a dusty library um, in Marlebone in London that I was flipping through books with batik and all these beautiful um, textiles that appeared to me as, you know, art on, on fabric. So. As silly as it sounds, this one simple, what seems to be a simple garment um, has given me a pathway to reconnect to who I am today and kind of sharing Indonesian culture through dress. When I was a little kid, I'm not really, uh, we don't afford to buy a sewing machine. And then I use my hand to make the outfit or um, whatever I willing to make. And then when I'm grown up and then, yes, I made uh, many uh, dresses and gown and then, and then I use the sewing machine with the electric now. And then I also made my own wedding dress like 29 years ago. So I'm really passionate in the designer and sewing the clothes. Everybody has a different size. It's me, I'm also, it's hard to find a Z size on my kebaya. That's why uh, right now I like to make my own kebaya. So you cannot just, hey, my size is medium. Can you make me kebaya with size medium? And then come to you, the kebaya doesn't fit perfect. Living in Bali and being invited to an Indonesian wedding, a Balinese wedding, and it was requested that I wear a kabaya. Um, and they said, well, you can just have one made. And I was like, what? You know, in the States, you don't make that connection to um, having things made. You go to a store, you pick it up, and then you, you know, you hopefully it fits and you wear it. Here he comes, and she actually brings Indonesian cuisine. And for me, I was like, let's rush into this. Like, let's get going, you know, a very Western mindset. But instead, we have a saying in Indonesia, it's sort of like, makan dulu, you know? And so it's like, it's eat first. So it was always starting with this kind of, let's settle down, let's connect, and let's enjoy a meal together, let's share. I brought that cuisine, so let's Stacy remember again, this is like Indonesian. I cook all different type of cuisine. This is from this island. This is from this island, all different. So I teach Stacy not just for uh, garment or kebaya, but I want Stacy remember back there in our hometowns. This is like us. And it was um, the reason why I reached out on Facebook, um, actually, to find someone. Because when I moved back to Baltimore to be closer to my family, 
I didn't want to lose that part of what's being Indonesian, what is Indonesian in me. And I was just very fortunate that someone else in that virtual space reached back out. I saw Stacy. This is Kabaya from this island and this Kabaya from this island. I give little bit knowledge so she can not blind when people asking her a question and she just know one line, Kabaya. But basically, Kabaya is many. So then Stacy very smart and very quick to understand what is that. So, and then I lead Stacy to make her own kebaya, which is I'm so proud. I really want to give more my knowledge. I don't have much, but I think I can help give whatever I have. Our society in terms of as an industry and fashion is all about the speed to market, the speed to production, and sort of the removal of the human. And I wanted to reconnect to my own humanity through fashion, through my own hands. The true fashion society and community that I would rather embrace are people like Ibunori who really love what they're making and they're sharing it with the world in their own way. And it doesn't have to be made so quickly and in large volumes. Maybe there is just that one kabaya that's made for that one person.